I welcome you all in this journey of self transformation. But before starting with this video, I would like to make an announcement that in my first video welcoming change, I have given an introduction about the instant first level of need that we perceive for change in ourselves and understanding the importance of self transformation. But there are a lot more deeper and profound aspects about the importance of self transformation so i will be creating a series of welcoming change in our lives every time deep diving into this aspect which will not only keep you motivated but also become unstoppable on this journey now coming back to our topic of today that is changing our relationship with problems but again one more very important point or disclaimer that i want to bring to your notice is from this video perspective the problems and pain or suffering that is talked about is only with respect to our daily problems and sufferings like stress fears anxieties relationship problems with self and others and it is not about any extreme situations which are out of our reach or not in our hands so yes let's get started then in order to change our relationship with problem we must first understand what exactly are problems or pain and sufferings and why do they exist The dictionary meaning of problem is a matter or situation regarded as unwelcome. Now, we all focus and live with this part of the definition of the word problem, but the complete definition is I repeat again, a matter or situation regarded as unwelcome which needs to be dealt with and overcome sometimes i feel we never tried to know the exact meanings of commonly used words and i've just accepted them with half knowledge but if we if we understand the literal sense it can help us widen our perception and maybe even level of wisdom can be raised anyways just a tip if you like try doing it do let me know if it helps you in making any change in your life So coming back to problem understand this nature has designed it this way problems are a way of seeking attention just like how you get a wound you deal with it immediately if you ignore it or delay attending it it might get infected only to cause more and more pain and suffering So if we go against nature's law by remaining in the problem then we keep paying the self-given penalty of pain and suffering but nature doesn't want us to suffer since childhood what have we done in our maths class yes you got it right we were given problems to be solved and we have solved them in steps so let's follow the same process and based on what we just discussed is a very first step that is pay attention when you encounter a problem the first thing you do is pay attention to it don't ignore it or crib about it because that is again a form of suffering By the way there are different levels of sufferings. Step number 2. Change your perception towards problems. Change your mindset from facing problems to solving problems that we are encountering in our daily lives from days, months or even years. From today Let's see problems as an opportunity to bring in change in our situations because either we or someone else needs help. 
so you change from the victim mode to taking charge again to remind you we are only talking about the daily problems and sufferings not the extreme ones step number 3 ask the right questions to yourself ask them intellectually questioning is a great tool or exercise to analyze situations to reach to the root cause of the problem for example the root causes could be anything like ego clashes competitiveness maybe it's the nature of the person due to his own circumstances your words may have hurt someone which could change his or her attitude towards you or your own past experiences are causing some present behavioral patterns in you ask questions till you reach to a point from where it all began or at least somewhere close to it till you find a way to deal with it step number 4 temporary to permanent solution if you find some temporary solution do it right away considering its pros and cons you may even take help from relevant people even if you need to have a pep talk or you can have a self talk too share your problems with someone because it is said problems shared are problems halved you can then keep observing whether the solutions are showing any results or not and then keep refining your thoughts and actions accordingly you can deal with it gradually to reach a permanent solution or maybe i should say that you come out victorious from the problem sometimes the solution is just in one step and that is forgiveness so that's it these are some first level of solution approach we will go more deeper into specific topics and how to deal with them in our future videos remember one thing you may feel motivated watching the video but implementing and being consistent is necessary so you will need to keep working on coming out of the habitual patterns of responding or reacting to situations whether internal or external but there's always a first time to do everything so start now please try the above mentioned steps and let me know in the comment section your experiences or challenges or if you have taken any other actions which have helped you to solve your problems please do share in the comments with everyone because we are on the self transformation journey together if you want a video on any specific topic please let me know if you have liked the video please do share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming videos